Hey everyone, welcome back to What's Happening. So shout out to Queen Sheba for bringing us this piping hot tea yesterday. And the way that she laid it out was just absolutely perfect. Um, she revealed that Martel is supposedly seriously dating Belinda Sanders. Now, you all remember Miss Belinda. She was the woman that back in 2021 when Martel acted as if he was on his way to Atlanta and wanted to see if anyone would be willing to open their home so that they could cook something out of his uh, new cookbook that he was promoting. Uh, Miss Belinda Sanders was the uh, one that supposedly took the offer up. And we started to see her, just small glimpses and clips of her on Love and Marriage Huntsville. She was at uh, the book signing that Martel had set up for the kids. She was also at his initial soft launch that he did in Atlanta at that mansion for the Ines Wine. And we also saw her at the Madani relaunch when the fight broke out and she was running there after Martel in that green dress. So she's been around the cast on several occasions and is said to be uh, Miss Destiny's friend. We know um, not too long ago, Destiny made a post and said that she was with some real ones. And when she scanned the camera around, she was with Belinda and Martel. Now, it was revealed on yesterday that Miss Belinda Sanders and Martel's company called Hope Media Group has purchased some land down in Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, the land was purchased on February 2nd, 2022 and was sold for $29,900. Now, the irony in all of this is that when he went live and did that little cooking segment with her back on December 2nd, 2021, and pretended that he had just met her and she was just a fan that decided to open her home. You mean to tell me just two months later, the two of you decided to purchase some land together? <laughs> I find that very strange. Now, unless she is just very gullible and he talked her into this. Um, otherwise, I do believe that the two of them have known each other for quite some time. Now, two weeks ago on Real Housewives of Atlanta, when Sheree questioned him about possibly seeing another woman in Atlanta, he said, every time I come to Atlanta, I'm always with you. He said, so the other female was basically getting the short end of the stick. And I remember when he said that Belinda came to my mind because I thought about the cooking segment and also the fact that she had been on the show on more than one occasion. Now, when he did that cooking segment with her, she offered to watch his kids for him back in 2021. She offered to watch his kids for him when he came to Atlanta. Let's take a listen to what she had to say. I can though, can I? So you have a nice home too. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. A something, something. A little something, something. <laughs> well, I think it's a mansion too though, so I don't think it's a little something, something. It's high. Uh, Start home. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, yeah. oh, my house only about four thousand square feet. Hey, look, I work hard. And this hard. is like double mine. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, I forgot you do have a lot of kids, so you do need about Ooh. this ten thousand square feet. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I love children too, but I'm never having another one. <laughs> so, but I I love children so much. Like I have at least two children that I adopt every year, and I can ask Kendra. She'll tell you that during holidays, I have tons of kids at my house. I love them. So, <laughs> I do. So if you ever need a babysitter while you're in the area, you want to go on a hot date or something, just drop them off to your new sis house. Oh, Linda. that's what's up. I got your back. I like that. I do. <laughs> okay. All right. So, all right, come on, Belinda. So I guess Martel took her up on that offer. Now, we do remember when Sheree mentioned on the show on Real Housewives of Atlanta that ever since her and Martel met, they were seeing each other every single weekend. So that meant that 
There were weekends where he had his children and nine times out of 10, Belinda has probably watched the kids for him while he was in Atlanta. But anywho, you know the fans don't miss a thing and this is where Miss Belinda messed up. So we all know that in their custody agreement that the two of them have decided not to post the children on social media. But on Mother's Day, Belinda shared a video of all of her children. Um, she did confirm in a video that I saw that she has five children that she has birthed. She has one stepdaughter from a previous marriage, and she also has one adopted son. But in this video, she shared a clip of her children, but also had a clip of one of Martell's daughters. And in her post, she mentioned something also about being a bonus mom. Now, of course, the fans got a hold of that and they went to her page and said, take boss baby off your page. Desperate pick Misha. And someone else jumped down in her comments and said, how are you posting pics of Melody's daughter and she don't post her own kids? The disrespect is beyond disgusting. Y'all Martell pick me women are sick. And then someone responded, this worn out bitch doesn't have any respect. Now someone else jumped in the comments and said, why are you allowed to post someone else's kid when she don't even post them on her page? Martell Holt explained. Someone responded, wait, so that was boss baby. Does her mama know? And she replied, definitely was her and I'm not sure. Now we know if Melody's new man had posted any of the kids on Father's Day or any day, Martell would have had an absolute fit. Now here she is doing an interview where she talked about the times that she was on Love and Marriage Huntsville. And you are on you are on two episodes currently right that have already aired of Love and Marriage Huntsville, right? Um, I believe it. Um. I believe it was the the third one as well. My, my the first one when um, Martel had the um, the wine tasting in Atlanta. He had the um, book release. Uh, my daughter. Oh, the book release. Okay. Yes. okay. My, we were there as well. My daughters had um, they had a booth at the book release. So oh, okay. a lot of a lot of the footage wasn't. Um, you know shown but yeah. they were definitely they're seen there of course i am as well but right. you know the focus was definitely the fact that his other his children were not there which was the saddest part of the whole ordeal yeah that was, yes. that mm -hmm. was the sad part. so do well, we see you again when it when it airs again in uh september ah uh, yes yes okay so, maybe no. you know because when they do the editing i don't know um, I did, um, I was there with Destiny for her, um, uh, what was it, her um, launch, her relaunch, yeah. Okay. okay. Of her shop? Yeah. Her yeah, that was when the big debacle happened. Yes, that's coming, that's coming back in September, okay. they didn't show that at the time. Okay, okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, we got to keep an eye out for Miss Sanders. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. The fans will keep an eye out on her. But sound off below, you guys. Let me know what you think about all this madness. And as always, I thank you guys for watching and listening. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from what's happening.